it's setting up the meeting for Facebook Live. Should just be a couple more seconds and um, then I'll press the record. Okay. Meeting is now streaming live. Okay. Let me go back and press record. We are set. Welcome Mount Airy to our first broadcast of I Heart Mount Airy, a broadcast for the four county community. Thank you for joining us for our first episode. Today, to introduce you to the show, we have Mayor Pat joining us. Mayor Pat, would you like to say a few words on our first show? Yes, well, I'd also like to welcome everybody to the I Heart Mount Airy live stream show. I think we are the only town probably in the state of Maryland that has their own TV show. So I'd like to thank uh, Gina Campanelli, Ashley Collier, and Melissa Thorne for throwing this together for us and uh, just really giving us a good outreach to the community that others may, may not have. It's, it's been a fantastic uh, uh, venture and I, I appreciate you ladies doing it. I realize this is our pilot show so hopefully it'll go well and we'll get picked up by a major network. I don't know, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Hold on one second. I can see that happening. You can, you can, you can see that happening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, let me pull over on the side of the road. Uh, again, I'd like to thank our community development team. Uh, We're so, so and, excited. Uh, They'll be bringing us trivia, town updates, stories from people who work and live in the great community. This is a great way to stay connected to your community. You know, and some people don't want to read a lot of text. They'd rather see a program. So this is fantastic for this. Uh, we'll be broadcasting to the four county community, uh, community at the end of every month. So it's a monthly show. Look for the new show here and on the Town of Mount Airy Facebook page, live on the final Wednesday at noon. Uh, today's show will feature town updates from some of the big projects we're working on in town. Uh, we'll also be testing your knowledge of town history. That's always fun. And for this trivia question, looks like you have a question from a 1938 town council meeting. Boy, I can only wonder what they were dealing with in 1938. Uh, probably a lot of the stuff we're dealing with now. Uh, and then something that I really want to hear about because uh, I'm pretty excited. Uh, Maybe it's the 12 year old boy in me, but it's to stay tuned for the informative interview with Dick Wiltshire, uh, head of the duck race committee from the Rotary Club. So I wanna hear about how this duck race is gonna work. I know it's gonna go down Cottonwood Avenue. We're actually gonna be floating ducks and running water. So I'm excited to hear about that. And then it uh, looks like our uh, community development team will be visiting three women owned uh, businesses downtown. So that would be exciting to hear about what they're doing and how their business is going and uh, what service they bring to the community. So once again, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to thank the community development team and uh, have a great show. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Pat. That was a great intro to hopefully our best pilot ever. <laughs> Joining us today also, you have the community development team. We are the production behind the screen. We have Melissa Thorne, Gina Campanelli, and myself, Ashley Collier. So we'll be with you for the whole show and you'll be joining us monthly. Next, we have town updates. We were actually featured on local DMV for one of our projects that is happening in our downtown that we are super excited about. I know Mayor Pat has been working on this project very closely. Um, Gina is queuing that up so we can show everyone what we've been up to um, and some of the new exciting stuff coming into our downtown area.
Gina, I don't think we have sound. If you want to pause for a second. Did you hear it? Nope, we see the wonderful pictures, but we don't hear the sound. Um, let me see. Oops. Thank you everyone for your patience. This is our first time doing this, so we're getting some of the kinks out. So are we seeing uh, pictures of the bank or what are we seeing pictures of? We're uploading the video from the news story right now. Okay. Sorry about that. No problems. It's our first show. We have to have a hiccup to start. That way we get it out of the way and we can have fun with the rest of the show. Yes. Um, working from home provides a little bit more challenges. Um, I came back from my vacation in Florida, so I'm self-quarantining. Whereas in my office, I have access to several screens, makes it um, a lot easier. At home, I just have my one screen. I'm sure everyone's adjusting to our new normal. Ashley, let me know if you'd like me to talk about any projects during the, okay. the interim. Can you hear it now? Unfortunately, no. If you go to options on screen share, you can say share computer sound and it should pop up. Okay. Or we could also just play the video and then maybe we could just talk over it too if that as a next update. Mm -hmm. So could you tell me again, Ashley, where you saw that? Because I if you go into screen share mm -hmm. and you click up at the top under options there is share computer sound as a pull down could we possibly go on until i figure out what is going on and sure. turn that segment sorry about that no problem. Next segment, under town updates. Have to be expensive, but it does need to be done and you can do it we'll show you how Coming up on August 5th, 
at 7 p.m. Join us online for a town public art charrette. The town arts committee invites you to participate via virtual meeting to solicit input on themes and locations for future projects, uh, art projects in the town. To submit input or ideas before or after the charrette, please email a collier at mountairymd.gov. We definitely want to hear feedback from the whole community on where you would like to see art throughout our town. We also want to send a special thank you out to some of the folks in our community that have helped the ER team with special projects. Um, look for an ad in our next messenger to thank them as well. Thank you for all that these members do in our lovely community. Next, we're going to have our Mount Airy trivia that Mayor Pat had referenced. So make sure you pay close attention. Each time we will have a different trivia question that you can participate with so we can all get to know a little bit more about our town. Hello, everyone, and welcome to My Heart Mount Airy's very first trivia spotlight. I'm Gina Campanelli and I'm standing here on the upper floor of Town Hall and I wanted to share with you something very special and then ask you to answer a trivia question. I'm standing in front of one of our fireproof cabinets that house our Town Council Minutes and the, the oldest one that we have here uh, I'm going to share with you. You can see several of our minutes are stored in these binders but this one is the first one we have here and you can see it's quite old. I'm going to read the very first entry that shares with you a historic event that happened here in downtown Mount Airy. The mayor and council of Mount Airy, Maryland in special session pursuant to a call of the mayor, the purpose of the meeting being the discussion of general business, particularly the situation as it exists by reason of the disastrous fire which occurred in the middle of the night of. Can you fill in the blank of what day that historic fire happened in downtown Mount Airy? I know there are several, but which one was contained in this book? If you can answer that question correctly, please go to www.mountairymd forward slash I heart Mount Airy and complete our trivia form. If you answer the question correctly, you'll be entered into a drawing to win a prize from our Business Spotlight guest on our next episode. Good luck to you. Thank you, Gina. That's awesome. I hope we get a lot of people that know that trivia answer. To be honest, I don't think I know. Maybe Mayor Pat does. We'll see. I'll get the answer from him after the show. Next, we have, have Community clue. Spotlight. What was that, Pat? I don't have a clue. We should win a car if we get that one right. <laughs> it looks like I'm going to have to, I'll what? have to go talk to the historical society and see if they can give me the answer. Uh, Pete Ballas mm -hmm. or Mike Ecos is probably going to call in. They know it right off the top of their head. They better enter. They could win. Our next uh, segment in our new show is Community Spotlight. Today joining us, we have Dick Welcher from the Mount Airy Rotary. Dick, are you there? Do you want to come on screen? You bet. I'm, I'm, can you see me now? I don't see you, but I definitely hear you. Yes, I saw him. I see you. I see you. <laughs> oh, you see, I see him now. Sorry about that. So, Dick, what is the Rotary doing with the town and the fire department? I heard some exciting news. So the first time I ever saw one of these duck races was in a, a very small town in Kansas, and the whole community got involved. So I brought that idea back to the Rotary Club and we um, have aligned up, we actually have bought 10,000 ducks. Then in, in reviewing what's taking place in our community, we saw that the fire department is down about $160,000 in fundraising due to the carnival being canceled. So we reached out to the fire department, 
their board and members voted to agree to uh, fully support it. And then uh, we also are honored to have the town of Mount Airy fully support the event. So on September 27th at two o'clock, we're gonna hold duck races and it's actually been moved from Cottonwood Avenue to the, the fire department activities building in the backside. There's a, a road that's 200 to 300 feet. We'll be holding multiple races down there and then move uh, the, the top ones in each of the uh, races to a championship race. And then we'll have a, a winner. The, the prizes are $1,000 for first place, 500 for second, 300 for third, 100 for fourth. And uh, there's plenty of places that you can buy ducks. So we're really, really excited about it. It should be a great event for Mount Airy. So much has been canceled due to COVID and this event can be held in full compliance, whatever the COVID requirements are at that time. So September 27th at two o'clock. Sounds like a fun event. No, it will be. <laughs> really cute idea. So you're not using live ducks, right? No, they're, they're rubber <laughs> ducks. And what you do is you adopt a duck. So the pricing of the ducks, if you adopt a single duck, it's $10. If you purchase half a quack pack, it's three ducks for twenty dollars. If you buy a full quack pack, it's eight ducks for fifty dollars. So we've already sold over two hundred ducks, and we're really just getting started. So um, our our goal is actually between two and three thousand ducks, but we have ten thousand ducks. So if people jump on board, uh, we, we're not going to run out of, out of ducks. It and it, it, it just. We, we want to make this an annual tradition in Mount Airy. Um, so uh, we're really glad that the town and the fire department all are, are all on board. Make sure That's awesome. It sounds like you have all your ducks in a row. Absolutely. <laughs> now, can people name their ducks? Yeah, they can. Um, so in some of the forms we have, there's tickets. There's 2,000 tickets that have been printed on there. You, the one stub you get, you put your phone number a name and you could put a, a, a duck team name um, and we'll keep that information for you. But um, there's one part of the ticket you keep and the part with your name and phone number we take so we can award the prizes to the winners of the race. Now, I had heard a rumor that we might see ducks pop up in people's mm -hmm. yards in anticipation of the race. Can you tell us any more about that or is that still top secret? Well, it's um, secret, but let me divulge a little bit since this is the very first I Heart Mount Airy program. I think we had to give a little bit of stuff. So the, uh, the Rotary Club on Friday is going to be painting ducks, and we are going to call the program Quack Attacks. So uh, you'll the ducks. See, what's that? Oh, you'll, you'll start seeing that the ducks appear around town. And today we're going to participate in the farmer's market. And we actually have, it might not be the world's biggest duck, but I can guarantee you it's the world's biggest duck in Maryland for today. So stop by the farmer's market and you'll get to, to buy some ducks. Uh, you'll see the ducks, that, some of the ducks that are going to race. And uh, you'll also see this really, really big duck. That sounds fun. Farmer's so it's today it's only. We'll have the largest duck in Mount Airy. Right. <laughs> From three to seven at the farmer's market. Yep, we'll be there. That's incredible. Well, <laughs> it, I can't wait to see that. It really that. is. <laughs> yes, <clears throat> so we're gonna set up our, the, ra the racetrack. Um, Nils Farm is, is donating 140 uh, bales of hay. Some of the members are donating plastic. So we're gonna have a really, really nice race course for these ducks to go down. And, uh, you know, the fire department is obviously supporting, but also supporting to get the water down from the, the top of the, the racetrack to the bot to the bottom. So we have some winners. The course will actually be tapered. So you're going to have a 10 foot wide section to start with, and then it'll taper down. So it's easier to figure out which duck has actually won the, the race. Okay, that's smart. Is there a limit to how many duck packs you can purchase? Nope, no limit. Um, so far, the biggest purchase is 40 ducks. So that's, uh, you know, 
it'd be uh, five of the the quack pack, so it's two hundred and fifty dollars. So there, there's no limit. Um, if you want to guarantee you win, you could buy ten thousand ducks, and you guarantee you win, and you'll get a thousand dollars back. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all for a good cause. Yep. So the the uh, the the money that's raised um, will be split between the fire department and the Rotary Club for our community scholarships and support that we do for the Boy Scouts and uh, Mount Airy Net, some of the things we do for the, the food program at, at Pars Ridge. Um, so we the money is going to all go back into the community after the expenses. I know it's been difficult during so these exciting. times to have our fundraisers. So I want to make sure we get our community out to support you for this uh, fun event. Oh, yeah. We're, we're looking forward to it. And you know, our members, the fire department, everyone's so pumped up about it because it can be held no, no matter what takes place with, with COVID. And, and that's why a lot of the events have had to be canceled. Well, this, um, we're gonna do Facebook Live for the event. We're gonna have a drone flying above the race. So you people will be able to watch this no matter what the circumstances are. That's great. This sounds fantastic. Uh, and thank you very much for the support, everybody in town of Mount Airy. Thank you, Thanks Dick, for, for joining us. Well, you're welcome. It was a pleasure. All right, next we're going to go on and highlight our Mount Airy Farmers Market. Heading into the Mount Airy Main Street Farmers Market. It is an active roadway, actually, so you just have to watch where you're walking. We've got um, the Mount Airy Pharmacy that's open. Uh, it's one way in here. And the market is in this corner over here. Market. We've got Alice Settle Raskin, the market master, over here in green. And that is the t-shirt. Oh yeah, I love that. Hey, can we purchase them? You we gotta get be, them for sale. We will have some for sale in a week or two. In a week or two? Yeah. Where can I find them? Right here. Here at the market. Okay. Who else do we have behind the masks? We have Dick Swanson. <laughs> and we have Wayne Evans, Evans the I volunteer of the year. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the market this year. How's it different than previous years? Pre oh, that's you. Yeah, previous years we've had more vendors. We've had it more of a social gathering place mm -hmm. to, to buy local, eat fresh, and stay a while. We had music, and this year, we don't have that. We, uh, with the coronavirus, with the COVID-19 guidelines from the Mount Airy, uh, from the Maryland uh, Department of Agriculture, we have cut back. We have uh, base, your basic farmers market. Today we have uh, three farmers and two bakers and a popcorn maker. Uh, rotating through the market every other week or every other couple weeks is uh, a winery as well. Okay. Every Wednesday here yep. in the rail yard, right. um, one North Main Street address or three North Main Street, North Main. Uh, back here behind the train station, it's Blossom and Basket Boutique, you've got Jessica Snowballs, Tapsco Bicycles, the museum and the pharmacy. And this is, a, this is an open roadway. Yes, a loop through still. Uh, the museum is not open yet, right? The museum is not open yet. Okay. Uh, generally, during the farmer's market hours, we do have it open. Uh, we do have the bathrooms open, so there's a place okay. to go. But uh, the historical society, along with the town, has been discussing a, a reasonable, intelligent time to open the museum. Good. And what we can do to uh, safely put people through there. Across the country, really, in the East Coast, as to how their similar museums or how their 
getting back open again and allowing the people. So that's forthcoming. Okay. We'll be doing that by the end of the year, I think. Okay. Wonder the best place to get updates on that. I mean, we'll have them on our town website Nothing when things get going. Uh, Facebook page. And there's a Mannery Farmers Market Facebook page. What's what's the name? Mannery Main Street Farmers Market. Uh, they can go. Mannery Main Street Farmers Market dot org. Okay. Or Mannery Farmers Market. Just Mannery Farmers Market on Facebook. And what I particularly love is Alice writes a blog post every week. Every week. And there's a recipe that you can find. At the end of the, the blog. At the end of the blog. And there's also um, a focus of the of a week. So this week's what? Tomatoes. Yay, tomatoes. Yeah. Any tomatoes? We have cherry tomatoes and we have uh, red, uh, yellow, uh, orange, and earlobe tomatoes. Okay. Right Wonderful. Thank you all for your time today and for being here on Wednesdays. Rain or shine, but not thunderstorms. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but if the sun comes back out, you'll probably be back out here. Great. Thank you so much. artist by trade Ooh. and all of her stuff is real stone and she comes up with her own ideas and just puts them together and most of her pieces are one of a kind. Does she do these um, bottle cap earrings? She does and she will do custom. Mm -hmm. If you have a certain flavor sure. beer that you like, she will customize some earrings for you or a pendant.
course, everything is online, right? I could go onto your website and find some merchandise? Yes, you can. You can shop our store online. Um, you can go on, you can see um, all the products that we offer. You can see what services we offer. Okay. It gives our hours, our phone number. Um, uh, we offer curbside pickup. Online it is either uh, shipped to you or in store, but if you call and would like it brought out to your car, we will we offer that, anything you would like. Great, that's wonderful. And where's your parking lot located? Our parking lot is located on the side of our building. So if you're coming down Main Street, you can just look for it. There's two parking lots on each side. Okay. You can pull right in and come on in. You are right in between um, Conchetta's and Upper Deck and, and Crying Johnny's. Johnny's. Yep. Right. Great. And this used to be the old firehouse. Yes, it did. It's still got a lot of history in here. That's so. Okay. <laughs> and they offer free gift wrapping. So if you come into the store, you can pick up a little card to go with your gift. I love their candles and their clothes. of over 20 small women and family owned businesses. We range everywhere from food to gifts to apparel to books. So I'm gonna give you a little tour of what we do here and come on down and see for yourself. So in our display case here, we have Calico cookies, which are just incredible kind of cakey sort of cookies. They have a wide range of flavors. We've got everything from fruit flavors like strawberry and lemon to banana and then even chocolate coffee, which is amazing. Diane is debuting some new flavors. We've got... Wow! We've got strawberry crunch, that's a new one. We've got peanut butter and jelly, oh. and banana split. So Ooh. those are the new flavors this week. This is wonderful. So definitely... And they come in singles, come in singles or, or you can get time. more. Cool. But the nice thing too is that Diane obviously bakes frequently, and so you can place an order through her website, which is dianescupcakery.com, and pick up your order here. Okay. Um, same actually with most of our other vendors, so Calico Cookies and The Sweet Spot both have online ordering, and you can place the order, pick them up here, you can place an order through our website and have them delivered. So if I were to go to the Mannery Commons website, I could find links to their websites exactly. too? Okay. Yes, exactly. And what's your website? Our website is mountairycommons.com and Mount Airy is all spelled out. If you want to go straight to our shop page, it's mountairycommons.com slash shop. Cool. Thank you. So we're wearing masks. We are, yep. Masks okay. are required in, in all the shops. Correct. And if you forget your mask, we do have disposable masks for you to when you come in but we also sell masks if oh you let's look at the masks <laughs> as we walk people can see exactly. uh, oh they're right here so cool they're all here so we've got some new ones these are really cool because they've got a little pocket in there for a filter and they, oh, come, yeah. they come with a filter and they've got adjustable earpieces so if you're like kind of between sizes <sighs> And I'm wearing one like that's that right helpful. Now that is so helpful. Easy. Okay, it makes it a lot easier. Um, so they they come in all kinds of styles. There's a there's a lace one here, which is super cool. <laughs> there is a piece of cloth behind it, so it's not just like oh yeah, and you're not you don't have a hole. I see. There's kids masks too. There's some kids ones. So the ones up here actually are in, in this tray are all handmade. If I were to purchase online, would I get a delivery or can I pick it up curbside? That's an excellent question. Okay. So you can either pick it up curbside or you can come in and pick it up. Um, we're currently open 2 to 6 Tuesday to Friday and 11 to 3 Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Um, if you live in Mount Airy, we offer free delivery. And if you live outside of Mount Airy, there's just a $7 delivery fee. Okay. Um, but so anything in the store, anything you see on our website, we can deliver to you, again, free of charge. The jumper is from Boutique of Dreams, which used to be further down Main Street and has joined us here in the Commons, and I can show you her main uh, display in the back, but okay. uh, this is one of her pieces. Cool. And then um, this kimono is, is a different vendor, but this kind of is a great example oh, of how yeah. we try to bring everybody's items together to make them really That is so cool. 
Um, so as we kind of look back, you can see there's a variety of different clothing styles, like uh, body scrubs and lotions and soaps. Um, Just look and smell them. Oh, that's so cute. I love her soaps. Oh, these are new, by the way. They're really, really popular, these, these new soaps. Oh, they smell really good. They do. I think that's the first thing I smell when I come in. Well, I think you also smell the candles. Oh, and they're... Yeah. Um, so, we... Unicorn kisses. A whole range of styles here. This is... Uh, Twindles is the, is the company. This is her newest creation. It's Fruit Loops. Oh, it what does it look like? It absolutely smells like Fruit Loops. Uh, this one just has a plain top, Okay. But we've got to find the birthday cake one for the fun. A whole bunch of new signs just came in. We've got some really fun uh, dog ones. Oh, dog yeah. Dishes. Uh, some family ones, and these are custom orders. Oh! So you can fill out your order form here and, and then pick them up here when they're done. So these are some magical blessings. Um, they are really amazing because they, they look so real. They do. They stay good forever. They really do. Um, I really like these succulents. Um, and one thing that Whitney does that are just beautiful, she has these succulent displays that are mm -hmm. like um, table arrangements, and they are they're gorgeous and here we've got our little gardening and plant section oh cool um if you're looking for a project these grow kits are really great uh, i was thinking this was like a can of soda or something that's what i <laughs> thought <laughs> there i need to seeds. collect them all okay <laughs> great summer project uh, we're adding a lot of uh, sustainable products mm -hmm. so these are um reusable straws mm. and then up front um we've got dryer balls which dries your laundry faster than dryer sheets and you can even try those waste. that's wonderful so, Me too. doggy some doggy stuff yep. <laughs> the, I like the green stocking stuffers yeah uh, christmas they're fun socks yeah. yeah. Most people over here are not aware. My birthday's coming up. Just yeah. Oh yeah. More amusing software. Um, we've got handmade purses and handbags. Um, locally made here in Mount Airy. Same with the dresses. These are um, so yeah, I love cute. These so they're they're Look at the bows. They're all adjustable too. You can see like this has a button on the inside. So as the wearer grows, you can... Need adult oh, sizes yeah. in those. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so they're all size. Nice for Emma. Fabrics and cups. And they're, they're really fun. You have games back here. You have games. So if you need something for a game... How do you choose what books? It's it's a... <laughs> it's process. Yeah. It's kind of fun because I basically am shopping, but I'm not shopping for me. Yeah. So I get to pick a little bit of everything, so... A po sugar bowl. A po sugar bowl. Po some sugar on me. Well, this is such a beautiful new area. Thank you. And and stay tuned because in two weeks it's gonna look different again. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll have to stay tuned on your Facebook page. Exactly. Will you Facebook post some updates? Yeah, we'll put some. And updates. Instagram. Okay. And again, it's Mary comments. Good to know. And then as we get into the back here, this is uh, again boutique of dreams has moved in with us. Mm. Um, so welcome lots to Dream to choose from. We've got lots of new styles back here. Um, and here's a special little room made local. Yep, exactly. So everything in there is uh, local artists. Cool. Well, there's really something for everybody really here. Is, yeah. And People, um, vendors are probably always bringing in different things. Absolutely. So you're always going to see something new when you exactly. come. Thank you for the tour, Erin. Thank you for stopping by. Sure. That was great, Melissa. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
And we take pride in a lot of made in USA gift. All of our food is made in USA. And most of our sign, almost good 90% signs are made in USA. We have gifts for all ages and they are unique. We have a lot of wall plates. We have a lot of different soaps. They are from Made in USA. And just come and see us okay. whenever you need something special. There's so many cute things in here. It's really adorable. All your gift needs right here in we really need to do shopping for Christmas now. unable to come down what is another way can they shop online they can shop online and they can have curbside pickup oh great and if they have certain gift in mind they can call us we can do facetime with them and we can show them that area and we can also take that gift out to show them outside and they can just they don't have to come out from the car town have given a special cone for curbside parking the parking is always there and I'm they gonna are go show welcome to buy cash a credit card a check cash credit card or check okay so there's the cones all right here on the parallel parking spots right next to the Flatiron building is SK gifts people who've been coming here for last year and a half. We've been here this August now more than one year. Yay! Congratulations! Coming up. All right, Mount Air. All right. So kind of circle back to the beginning of the show since we had a little technical difficulties we are now going to show you some more town updates in our lovely downtown our new phoenix project that has uh, been definitely getting some buzz and has also made uh, the news recently so we're going to highlight that now and hopefully we will be able to have sound this time so thank you for sticking with us and here's that video we'll try hopefully it works this time As you can see there, that's our bank building, the historic bank building in downtown. We've got Mr. Jim Stargell. He's been one of the volunteers helping tirelessly on this project. So you can see all the historic facade on the building. Check out the size of those weeds. 
And that's Katie Gionte of the Art Alliance. She's also one of the lead volunteers working on this project with Jim. This is some of the concepts that they're going over for the mural project that will be on the back of the building. If you look at our Facebook page, you can actually see an update photo that we just posted that highlights the progress. So we'll post the video up on our Facebook page so everybody can hear the sounds. Sorry about that. I'm not sure what's going on with my sound. That's okay, Gina. We're rolling. She's talking about missing all those screens. Yeah. All right. Gina, did you want to show us another video of that project as it yeah yes um but i may not have sound again so i'll see if i can um talk over you have to let me know if you can hear anything there's actually um no talking here we're just kind of showing the uh, progress of the artwork on the bank building this was taken this morning so it's coming along really quickly um that video that we just saw was just taken last week where they were just talking about the project and now it's already started so you can see on the back of the building there's a mural already going up and, and this segment is about the fire pit that they also talked about in the video So what's the fire pit all about? Is this something that um, people will be able to enjoy? Yeah, so it's gonna be a community space where the whole uh, town of Manary can come out, join um, in this new space. There's gonna be a fire pit with uh, new benches and tables so you can sit around and, and enjoy it. Along with all the artwork, um, there's gonna be new planters. Um, they've already done some work on the pavement, removed some broken curbing. Um, done some patchwork. Uh, they've removed some weeds. There's still some more trees that need to be removed, but it's really exciting to um, be able to reclaim the space that was kind of an eyesore and now it can be used for, by the community for very little money, mostly volunteers um, contributing to this project. So it's a uh, it's really great way to use um, this great community we have to build something that we can use together. If we could elaborate a little bit on the fire pit for the warmer months, we're gonna have an actual water feature. So it'll be a water fountain there. You can sit around and enjoy. And then as the weather gets cooler, uh, we'll have a fire pit. And we're gonna set up what standards that we're gonna to apply to the fire pit, but uh, we're very excited about that. And uh, you know, people ask, you know, what's the status of the bank? Uh, well, one of the statuses we know it's been vacant and uh, uh, a blighted property for probably about the last uh, 20 years. Uh, fortunately, we passed a blight ordinance a few years ago. A, some negotiation room with the owners and we could have moved in and just had the very basic done. Some of the broken windows fixed, uh, weeds cut below 12 inches. You're allowed to have them up to 12. But uh, working with the owner, uh, we were uh, able to actually add open space to the town at a critical time where you need outside space. So that's the beauty of this project. Uh, we're gonna have a pop-up park uh, where we need it the most downtown right now and give the people a safe place to go. And one of the things we do know as far as the sale of the building or the disposition of the building is, as of August 8th, it will no longer be a blighted property. If it sells and gets developed, well, that's a great thing. We've been wanting that for 20 years, but until that happens, we're gonna have a beautiful park. and. The volunteers are pouring in. We have uh, Seven uh, Springs Landscaping is now on board. Uh, we have, uh, uh, but you know, I'm so horrible. It's uh, Tommy White uh, uh, that's uh, performing some pressure washing services for us. 
and the list just goes on and on. We're working with Lowe's to get planners donated. They're working on that right now. And it's just amazing uh, how this can all come together. Uh, and we're, I'm going to actually send an email out to Macaroni Kid. Maybe we'll have some board games or surface games for children to play. There's a lot of shaded area down there. Uh, so you can sit comfortably even in the hotter summer days. So uh, this is just a win-win for the whole community. We're really uh, a push for some downtown revitalization. It's really interesting to see that in the middle of this pandemic, Mount Airy is still on the move. And this is just one of the uh, signs. And there's some other in town, some other flighted properties that are moving forward. So uh, it's great to have that negotiating power. And it's great to have a community where people will chip in and volunteer and donate like Ace Hardware uh, the way that they have. We, we, we certainly appreciate that. It's great to see the community working together to accomplish the task. So this is a wonderful project. Stay tuned. Did we freeze up? Anything else okay? I'm yeah. super excited about this project. I can't wait to see it develop. Pat, you're awesome. This is so much fun and great for the community. Well, thank you, but the community's awesome. Yeah, I appreciate that. But the community and our little team that we put together has been rocking it. Thank you, Jim and Katie. Oh my gosh. And uh, Tina Swanson of the Beautification Committee. She's on there contributing and MAMS is going to be on board here soon. So that'll be fantastic. And didn't I hear that ACE is also helping you, our local ACE hardware? Donating all the paint and uh, some electrical supplies we need because we're going to have some uh, lighting that's going to illuminate the old teller area. Uh, and we're going to have a full list of all the volunteers to make sure they all get credit because there's just so, so many and it's, it's fantastic. It's a great community project. Yeah, and the students from Carroll County uh, Technical and Vocational Center, did I say that right, Gina? Because I believe you're familiar with uh, one of the lead instructors. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit familiar with them. Uh, the, yeah, the Carroll County Career and Technology Center. So, so the students are down there under Michael Campanelli, who happens to be Gina's husband, and they are actually building the fire pit on site. Uh, so that the students are learning a task, they're learning community service, and guess what? We benefit. Yep, and they're out there today. You want to check them out? <laughs> it's too hot for me. <laughs> no, it's, nice. it's, it's really great for the students, especially now when they haven't been able to have any hands-on projects due to COVID. So um, this is our first chance, really. Um, some of them have been able to um, pick up tools at the school during the crisis, at, um, the spring semester when they couldn't actually go into the classroom and get some experience. Um, they were given some tools to practice at home, but it's, it's definitely different when you're not working on a project together, a, a real project. So this was a great opportunity that um, helped both the community, the town, and them. So I think they're really glad to be able to participate in a, such a worthwhile project. So cool. Thanks, Gina. Thank Mike again. I will. Ashley, we did have some other programming. I didn't know if you want to continue with um, our downtown road improvements, or did you want to save that for our next episode and keep them waiting? I say let's do it. All right, well, let's see if I have some te technical difficulties this time or if I can actually share my screen with sound. Actually, there, um, there's just music, so there's not any talking. So even if you can hear it, I'm just kind of showing the um, improvements to the downtown road. We will allow Sunny Street to have uh, three lanes coming down. So there'll be a right turn lane onto Main Street, as well as a, a left turn lane onto Main Street, and then the, the road going east as well. So um, our team has been hard at work to get this going. You can see right now there's some new curbing, some new delineation um, as far as the parking spaces separating them from the actual road. And here there's a new walkway, uh, it's still in progress. Um, right here is Cross Street, and they have kind of evened out that hill at the end, so it's not as steep. 
we have our new uh, electric vehicle stations, charging stations. Um, this is showing Park Avenue at the end where it will be one way. Cross Street will remain two way. There's Cross Street. Um, and then um, Center Street will have that extra turning lane. So those are the um, new updates to town that are um, in progress now. Veterans Lane will also be one way towards Park Avenue. Gina, can I put a, a plug in? Sure. Uh, first of all, thank you to Barney Quinn for who has done a fantastic job designing and managing this project that'll give us better flow around downtown. It'll give us, it'll make it safer for pedestrians. It'll add parking. Uh, it's just a win-win. It's also the next step to putting Center Street through. And I also like to give a huge congratulations to our Mount Airy Town Council members. Uh, one sure thing in public service, the best way to never get blamed for anything is never to do anything. But they did take the step to get something done. They move forward. But they're not dumb. They're pretty smart because pretty much everything that's happened in this plan can be reversed if it doesn't work. Uh, but that being said, uh, there's some great improvements that are here that should be able to stay and it will allow us to move forward with putting Center Street through, which would allow some great advances downtown. And we can really focus our development where we want it and where the survey says we want it. We want it downtown. And so thank you to the town council for making that tough decision and moving us forward. And thank you to Barney and our staff that uh, really makes the magic happen. That's so true though, Pat. Thanks for um, reminding everybody that, you know, when you don't do anything, you don't open yourself to criticism. So really mm -hmm. cool for you and leadership for making those tough decisions and actually having some progress. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, folks. Is there anything else that we want to uh, queue up before we send our viewers out? I think that wraps up our first show. We had a few glitches, um, mostly because of me. Sorry about that. Uh, hopefully, I'll get that worked out for next time. But I, I think we had a great first show. So I hope uh, a lot of people got to watch it live if not it'll be on our youtube channel for your pleasure for us to watch um after after today um but we do have some exciting updates uh, already planned for next month um again it'll be the last wednesday of every month so it'll be next august and um we're going to be featuring i know actually probably has some things she'd like to remind us what are going to be on that show the programming for next show but one thing i'm focused on is the Watkins park object our uh, update, Hawkins Park update. We have some exciting new projects going on there that I'll, I'll be uh, really happy to share with you um, in our next program. What else, Ashley, is happening next month? Next month, we're going to talk about the train station route. We're going to have some other grant updates. Uh, we will have some updates on MXD and some exciting Girl Scout projects that are happening in our park. We also will have, hopefully, a Hometown Heroes update another trivia question probably from 1938 and i just checked we already have our first answer for this show which is exciting and then we're going to do a community spotlight on uh, cars and coffee and we'll also have a new section for our show called kids corner which will be reoccurring and we're going to highlight some fun stuff for kids so that's just a little teaser for the next show um, if anyone has ideas for shows you can go to our website and submit those to us or if you would like to participate you're a local business please feel free to reach out to us um, we're happy to work with anyone in the community and see what we can highlight you know i really need to thank the community development team what a great way to remind our citizens the gems that we have right here in Mount Airy. It's even more critical to support our local businesses and stay local because now it's a health issue. If you're hanging around Mount Airy, you're not picking up the crowds in Frederick or Westminster or some of our larger metropolitan hubs, but you're actually being safer here and you're contributing to your town. So thank you, uh, ladies and the community development team for highlighting this every month. Thank you, Pat, for the shout out. We do also have a web page on our website at mountairymd.gov. You can find out everything about the show, the current episode, as well as uh, what to look forward to on our next episodes. And to answer the trivia question, and also, as Ashley mentioned, to participate if you have uh, a business or some type of event coming up that you would like to inform the community, please uh, refer to our web page and let us know about it. 
also don't forget to check out the town YouTube page. Uh, we have a channel that we upload uh, regular content to. So if you want another way to follow us, follow us on our YouTube channel. Great. That might be a lot. Right. Well, thank you, Mount Airy, for watching. We appreciate you and we look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.